Okay, in this lesson, we are going to solve this question that I have on the screen here. So, the question says that we should gently use superposition and reciprocity theorems to find the current supplied by the 35 volt battery of the circuit below. Okay, so we have to use what superposition and the reciprocity theorem to find the current supplied by this 35 volt here. So that will be the current from the 35 volt here, which I name as what I. Okay, so all you have to do is what to apply superposition and reciprocity theorems to find what this current. Okay, so to do this, um, you know that from superposition, okay, you can calculate for the current in this branch here, okay, which is the current supplied by the 35 volts here by considering each of the 40 sources acting alone. Okay, so we consider the 42 volt source to be acting alone, then we short circuit the 35 volt source, then we find a current what in this branch, okay, then after that we short circuit the 42 volt, then we use the 35 volt source okay to find the current in this branch here. Then we add the two current values and that gives us the current supplied by the 35 volt source. So we are going to apply some approach here. Okay, so to do this, I'm going to consider one of the voltage source to be acting alone. Okay, so in this case, I'll consider the 42 volt source to be acting alone. So what that means is that I have to short circuit or take out the 35 volt source. So let's look at how the circuit will be now. Okay, so I have the 12 volt here. Sorry, the 12 ohms resistor. Okay. I have the 12 ohms here. And then I have my 42 volt source here. And then have one resistor here in the middle which is the six ohms resistor and then I have three ohms resistor here okay so you need to find a current in this branch here okay because and that's where the 35 volt voltage source is. So you need to find a current in this branch. So look at where the positive terminal is. Okay. I'm going to choose the direction of the current to be the same as for the direction of the voltage source. So this will be my I. Okay, so we are considering the 42 volt source as the other, then we find a current in this branch here. So how are you going to do this? So to do this, we first of all have to know the total current in the circuit, which I name as what IS. That's the source current. So when you're done finding the source current, then we can find what I, which is the current in the branch here. Okay, so let's go ahead and then solve for what I is. To solve for I is, you must first know the total resistance of this circuit. Okay, so the total resistance will be equal to, we see that this six ohms is in parallel with these three ohms. Okay, so you will have. Six parallel right? Okay, and then they will all be in with the 12 ohms resistor. So this will give us RT to be equal to six times three divided by six plus three. Okay, plus twelve. So that's what we get for RT. Six times three divided by six plus three plus 12. So this will give us RT to be equal to what? 14. Okay, so now that we know the total resistance, we can find the total current which is of the IS. So IS will be equal to the voltage divided by the total resistance. So that gives us IS to be equal to 32 divided by 14. And now give us IS to be equal to 3 amperes. So now we know the source current. Okay. So I'm going to use this source current to find the value of what this I here, which is the current in this branch here. So let's do that.
So to do this, we are going to apply the current division rule here. So an argument i to be equal to the total current, which is what three times the six ohms resistor here. Okay, that will be six divided by this six plus what this three. So that was six plus three. So this will give us i to be equal to what three times six over nine. So let's divide by what i. Okay, so this will give us i to be equal to 2 amperes. Okay, so let's make this ia rather. Okay, let's make it ia. Okay, so I have ia here. Okay, so we have ia to be equal to 2 amperes. Okay, so that was when the 42 volt source was acting alone. So for the 42 volt source, okay, we have IE to be equal to 2 amperes. Okay, so now we have to solve for the current I, okay, when the 35 volt source is acting alone, okay. So at this point, we are going to apply the reciprocity theorem here, okay. So let's look at how we are going to do this. So we are going to apply reciprocity theorem here. Okay, so I'm going to redraw this first circuit that we solved for. Okay, so So this is the first second that we solved for right and then we had here to be IE. Okay, so applying reciprocity term, you can swap the current and then the voltage source. Okay, so that gives us something like this. So I now have the 42 volt source here, and then I have IE here, okay, and then I have the 12 ohms here still, 12 ohms here, 6 ohms, and then I have what, 3 ohms here. So from reciprocity theorem, these two circuits are the same, okay, so you can swap or reciprocate the the position of what the voltage source and then the current and then we still get the same answer so this circuit here is the circuit on the left hand side is equal to what the circuit on the right hand side okay we are still going to get the same current value ie okay so that's what reciprocity theorem says okay so now you have to find the current i okay when the 35 volt source is acting alone okay so let's look at how we are going to do this. Okay, so when the 35 volt source is acting alone, you have this circuit here. So this is the 35 volt source. I have three ohms here. I have six ohms. Then I have 12 ohms here. Okay, but we need this current here, which I name as what IB. Okay, so instead of we finding the total resistance and then using it to find IB, we are going to use a different method here. Okay, so we are going to compare these two circuits here. 
I'm going to compare. Okay. So from here, we see that this circuit here, okay, we got what IA to be equal to 2 amperes. And then since it is the same as for this circuit here, the IAS also are going to be what 2 amperes. So let's keep that in mind. So comparing these two circuits, I will see that if the 42 volt source produces a current IA, okay, then the 35 volt source also will have to have produce a certain current, okay. So in this current, I'm going to deem this as IC, okay. So since you've named it as IC, then let me remove this question mark here. So 35 will report to what IC. Okay, so that's why by proportion. So if the 42 volt source is producing a current of IA in this branch here, then the 35 volt source will also have to produce what's a current IC here. But we know the value of what IE, so we can use that to find what IC, right? So that would be 42 will be equal to 2 amperes. Okay, then 35 will be equal to what IC. So we have 42 multiplying IC to be equal to 35 times 2. That was 70. So I can write both sides by 42. Okay, by 42. So I have 70 divided by 42. And that gives me IC to be equal to 5 on 3 amperes. Okay, so we know IC, IC to be equal to 5 on 3 amperes. Okay, now, all we have to do is what use IC here to find the current what in this branch here, which is what IB. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Okay, so to do this, okay, to find IB, I'm going to consider a certain loop in this circuit here. Okay, so I name this as A, B, C, D, E, and then F. Okay, so what I'll do is that I'll consider loop A, C, F, D, E. Okay, so that'll be loop A, C, F, D, E. Okay, so considering this loop, then the 6 ohms here will not be part, right? So we are going to use this loop to find what IB. So with this loop, the total voltage will be 35. Okay. And that will be equal to the voltage drops, right? And then the one voltage drop across the 12 ohms and then one across what the 3 ohms here. And we know the current flowing through the 12 ohms resistor. So the voltage drop will be 12 times what IC. Okay. And then plus 3 times what IB. Okay, so let's continue. So this will give us 35 equals what? 12 times 500. Okay, plus 3 IB. Okay, so let's continue. So doing this, I'll continue here, okay. So doing this, we have what? 12 12 times 5 on 3, that should give me 20. So I have 35, 35 equals 20 times 20 plus 3 IB. Okay, sorry. So doing this, I have 35 minus 20 to so equal to 3 IB. So this will give me 15 equals what 3 IB. So I divide both sides by 3. So I then I have IB to be equal to what 5 amperes. Okay, so that means here that when the 35 volt source is acting alone, the current in this branch here will be what 5 amperes. Okay, so now we know the current. That was flowing through the branch when what the 42 volt source was acting alone, and then we know the current that was flowing through it when the 35 volt source was acting alone. 
so now all you have to do here is to take the algebraic sum of what these two current values and then that gives us what the total current supplied by the 35 volt source so i then have i to be equal to i a plus what i b okay so let's look at what will happen here okay so when the 42 volt source was acting alone okay this was the direction that we chose okay and then when the 35 volt source was acting alone that one also this was the direction okay so you see that these two directions are opposite right so these two directions are opposite so what that means here is that the current values are also going to be opposite in polarity okay so we can consider one of them to be positive and then one of them to be negative when you consider IA to be positive and then IB to be negative, you are going to get a negative answer because IB is bigger than what IA. When you consider IA to be negative and then IB to be positive, then you are going to get what a positive answer. So when I take IA to be negative, I have I to be equal to what? Minus 2 plus what? 5. And that gives me I to be equal to what? 3 amperes. So that will be the current supply by what? The 35 volt source in these two. Uh, voltage sourced circuit. When you consider IA to be positive and then IB to be, to be negative, then you have I to be equal to 2 minus 5. And that gives what? Minus 3 amperes. It's all the same, just that the signs are different. Okay, so this is how to apply superposition and reciprocity theory jointly to solve for the current supply by the 35, the 35 volt source in this circuit.